Hey everyone, so yes, today we are battle damaging another one of my Spider-Man suits. I'm going to run out of suits very quickly at this rate. So today we are going to be taking the Iron Spider-Man suit that was shown in Infinity War. Stark, it smells like a new car in here. We're going to be looking at the end game version of it because in that movie he gets like battle damage quite a lot more than in any of the other movies. And we're going to be mainly looking at that point where he just gets dogpiled by all those Chitauri dogs. I got this. Oh, I got this. Okay, I don't got this. Like, as soon as that happens, you know his suit is completely covered in dirt, scratches, all of these things. So, let's go ahead, get right into the video, and, well, <laughs> destroy a suit. Oh, and before we actually start, I have a bunch of different battle damage suits. I'll leave a little card up here as well as a link in the description if you want to check that out. Sorry, sorry. One last thing. If you would like to purchase a Spider-Man suit, use my code PantsCosplay at PrintCostumes.com. There will be a link in the description. It's going to save you 15% and you guys can get yourself a suit. If you want to destroy it, that's up to you. Well, let's get on with the video. Alright, to start off, you're going to want to grab a pair of scissors. For this, I am just using a regular pair of kitchen scissors. You can use fabric scissors. It would definitely cut it a lot easier, but I found that just using regular scissors does work for me as well. With this suit, I didn't want to cut it up too much because it's made out of like nanotech and it repairs itself as much as possible before the nanotech actually like runs out. So I wanted to do just minimal cuts because in the battle, he does get quite damaged in it. But not enough that, you know, he's missing like an entire arm piece off of his suit. If you want to go that route, you definitely can. But, you know, to each their own when it comes to a battle damage suit. There is no wrong answer for how battle damaged or how, like, least battle damaged your suit is. With the shoulders, I wanted to cut around this little gold trim. I thought that would be a nice contrast from red to skin color to gold. I thought it would just look really nice. And, to be honest, it does. Just wait. For the side piece, a lot of people probably wouldn't think of doing this area, and you don't have to, because again, your body's going to be kind of, your arms are protecting it mostly, but do, doing a little bit of cuts and a little bit of weathering around there can make the suit look really nice. For the arms, again, I didn't want to do too much, but I wanted to kind of make it flow from the hand all the way up to where my like shoulders would be to kind of like get your eyes up to where that would be. It's just kind of like a directional map towards me. For the legs, I've said this several times before, I don't do that much battle damage to it because in most battles, your legs are not the main part of like what's getting hit. It's mainly going to be your upper body. You can definitely add more battle damage to your legs if that's what you want, but personally, I like to do very minimal stuff. I will uh, weather this stuff a bit more because this whole battle is fought in mud, so definitely going to weather it a lot more. Speaking of weathering, for this we're going to be using dollar store paint. It's just a brown, I think it's called cinnamon brown paint from the dollar store. You can use pretty much any type of brown acrylic paint. What you want to do is go over every single hole or cut that you just made on the suit and just kind of like trace around it. That's going to create like a burn effect around that cut, like each one got burned at some point. You definitely don't have to do that with everyone, but I think it kind of just makes it look a little bit better. On top of that, you want to kind of use the spider lines to color in a lot of like shading on it. I find this makes it look a lot more detailed and what you can do is pick a corner for one of the webs, draw in that little brown kind of half moon shape on it, and then use the like residual paint that's on the brush to go around everything else just around it and that makes it dirty around that area. So it looks really, really nice overall. So for the back, as you can see, it's quite shiny. This is because this pattern was created for the scene in Infinity War when he lands on this alien spaceship for the first time and gets a suit and is just hit by the sunlight. That's why it looks very shiny. So what I did was I actually took the brown paint and colored over those shiny bits and I thought that really made the suit look a lot darker and doesn't stand out as much, which looks really, really nice. So you can use that to your advantage and hide some, keep some, and it just makes the suit look really, really nice.
All right, so once you have weathered this to your liking, your suit is complete. And there is the Battle Damage Iron Spider Suit from the MCU. As you can see, we didn't add as many cuts as we normally do on these Spider-Man suits, mainly because this is a suit made out of tiny little robots, so really underneath this should be like an exoskeleton type thing. We might make one in the future for this to have underneath most of the cuts. I think that would look really, really awesome. But I definitely wanted to add a bunch of cuts and really just make it all dirty because he's fighting literally on the dirt and gets dogpiled by all of these Chachari warriors. So that is kind of what I use as inspiration for this. And I think it turned out pretty darn fantastic, if you ask me. I am biased, but you know what, that's okay. So if you guys want to make your own battle damage version of the Spider-Man suit, definitely check out all of these videos that I have created on them. They are very informative, and I literally walk you through the entire process from start to finish. And honestly, having a battle damage suit, a lot of people will go, well, why would you mess up an entire suit? You're not. You're making the suit more your own and much more unique. Like, not a single person will have this exact battle damage suit, than me, you know? So you know, it's a one of one type suit. Yes, it is the pattern made by Breaker or Arachnid Studios, but it is still altered by me. So it has like a little bit extra meaning to me. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button for more videos all related to cosplay. Thank you guys for watching today's video and see you later.